Yeah, you know, we knew it was going to happen. It's just a matter of who gets hit the hardest. And, you know, today, you know, when you look back 24 hours ago, you would have thought it would have been a little bit more widespread. So we kind of dodged a bullet. With that being said, everybody got hit hard with rain, gusty winds, a lot of thunder and lightning. A few areas had some damage. We'll show you those coming up uh, shortly. This is what it looked like in Niska, you know, Jamie Trumpler sent us this picture. And this is what we call a shelf cloud. You see this with severe thunderstorms. It's kind of an outflow from the thunderstorm, kind of what we call a gust front. Here's another view of that shelf cloud. This is I-90 exit 12 east of Albany from Bridget Roos. Again, a gust front. Nicole Marie had hail, about nickel size hail in Hudson. We had several reports of hail, a little bit bigger in Saugerties. Now we're just getting some of the uh, damage reports in. Clusters up around uh, Schuylerville, a couple of reports of trees down around Skodak, uh, Nassau, Castleton on Hudson, uh, Valacia, Ravina. This area seemed to have uh, quite a bit of wind damage. In another area around Rensselaerville and Westerlo. So those are the areas that are reporting wind damage. I'm sure there are others, but those are the ones coming in right now. There's the squall line. Um, passing through eastern Vermont right now, rain extending back to Glens Falls, Saratoga Springs, but it's just about over there, and in the Connecticut Valley of Massachusetts. So that's the storms that hit us this afternoon. Interesting to note, another line of showers and downpours, probably right with the cold front, uh, out towards Oneonta and Cooperstown. Nothing severe here. Could be some thunder, could be another downpour, if that holds together as it works eastward, which it looks like it should. 62 Glenmont Colony, Schenectady 64. What a temperature drop, right? 59 in Pittsfield, 63 in Ghent. Remember, we're in the low 80s this afternoon and humid. 62 in Bolton Landing, Greenwich 65, down to 59 at uh, Johnstown. This cold front coming through tonight and that means a fairly significant change. So cooler air tomorrow, actually chilly up here, but cooler air coming in. In fact, tomorrow night will be down into the 40s. Here's your future cast, the storm in front kick east uh, tomorrow. Partly sunny here, mostly cloudy to the north with the chance of a brief shower. Then for Wednesday, high pressure builds in. Should be a bright sunny day late in the afternoon a little bit of cloudiness moving in, especially over the Catskills. Highs tomorrow, kind of a refreshing day. 65 in Albany, Glens Falls 63, mid 60s Glens Falls to Pittsfield, Hudson 69 in a high of 62 at Johnstown. Well, we made it through this severe weather day, folks. It could have been worse, we made it through. Things are looking better. Any storms ending east of us early tonight that could be one more batch of showers coming through in a couple of hours, maybe a rumble of thunder, then that should be it. Turning partly cloudy, breezy, a low near 52. Tomorrow, partly sunny, windy, 65. Mostly cloudy in the Adirondacks with the chance of a brief shower. Winds gusting to 30. Partly to mostly sunny Wednesday, late day cloud, 68. Uh, a shower Thursday morning, then some sun, 70. Friday, partly sunny. Look at this, 85. Saturday, hot, could be humid, 90. Showers, a thunderstorm on Sunday near 80, and then cooling off on Monday. John?